C.J. Abrams has been called up. He's going to be the Nats shortstop, it appears, every day for the rest of the season. We are all plenty excited to see what he does in his Nationals debut here tonight. Nick Madrigal, right-handed hitting, second baseman. Reaching out, hitting the ball well up the middle to his left. Well, you go to a new ball club and the baseball will find you. C.J. Abrams handles that one very smoothly. Here's Wilson Contreras, the Cubs catcher, hitting second in the order. Swing and a miss on a good slider. Ground ball to short. Swinging strikeout. Good start for Josiah Gray. Retiring the first two Cubs and now Ian Happ will come to the plate. Well, the one thing about Gray, he's given up 29 home runs, the most in the National League. Drill out there towards right field. This is well struck. That one back, that one on its way, and it's gone. Ian Happ with a home run, number 11, and the Cubs jump out front. It is one to nothing. So Josiah Gray allows his major league leading 30th home run. So now the batter is the cleanup man, Seiya Suzuki, the right fielder. On the ground to third, pretty nice play over there. Vargas safe at first, and there is Seiya Suzuki using the legs. So now Fran Mill Ray is the designated hitter. That ball is drilled. Right field. That one back. That one is off the wall. Reyes crushes one. That's extra bases. <laughs> Suzuki in the score. Here's the big fella. It's a triple. A three bagger for the Franimal. It is two zip. And the starting pitcher for the Cubs is mentioned, Marcus Stroman. Let's take a look at his arsenal. You see the fastball there. He does a lot of different things with it. That slider. Has always been a big pitch. If he needs a strikeout, he'll go there. He's ready to go facing Cesar Hernandez. Tap back to the mound. The Gold Glover fields, unloads in a hurry. And one up and one down. Bring up the new national sensation, the 30 year old rookie, Joey Manessis. There's another base hit. Name a part of the ballpark. He has not visited yet. So Voigt works a walk against Stroman, putting runners on first and second with one out and bringing up Yadiel Hernandez. Marcus Steeles. Good job. Got him to swing and miss and a strikeout. There's two away. Two outs, two on. The batter is Nelson Cruz. That one line caught out of the air by Madrigal. Might have broken his bat there. Cruz lines out. That ends the inning. One away. The batter is C.J. Abrams. One of the six players acquired for Juan Soto. And a chopper out to short. Horner fields. Fires on the move. Abrams can really scoot. And there's two away. Brings up Lane Thomas playing center field. Batting eighth hitting 231. Thomas hits one hard. Beyond the reach of McKinstry. And as it gets by Ian Happ, it'll be an easy two-out double. For Lane Thomas with a rope to left. And he's at second with two out. It brings up El Demaro Vargas. On the ground, Magical takes in the big hop. Over to Wisdom. And Vargas retired. No runs to hit. A man left. Cubs lead game one of the series two to nothing. With the cleanup batter, Seiya Suzuki facing Gray. Oh, everybody thought maybe Hook, and it's a sinker in there. And through three innings, seven strikeouts. Franmil Reyes, the big DH, will lead off for Chicago. Top of the fourth, Cubs a 2-0 lead. On the ground, softly hit, Abrams. And he throws it away. Pretty sure that one went into the camera well. And so I think Reyes will get second base. Yep, he will. But Horner is out. Reyes holds at second, and the batter is McKinstry. Here it comes. Swing a ground ball up the middle, deflects off the mound. Abrams comes back to the left side of second, throws on the run low, and it's picked by Voigt out of the dirt. So the ball is finding C.J. Abrams in this inning, and Voigt has saved him two errors and couldn't save him a third. Second walk for Gray brings in the center fielder, Christopher Morell. And this one to the right side for Cesar Hernandez. So an adventure on the infield that inning, but Josiah shows some moxie. And Contreras is retired two away here in the top half of the fifth inning with the Cubs up two to nothing. Here's Ian Happ. He's just done an unbelievable job this year, both left handed and right handed, with the ability to make contact. That is clobbered out towards right field and forget it. Way out of here into the second deck. Ian Happ unloads. 
And it is 3 nothing. The Nationals have the bases loaded with no one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And the heart of the Washington lineup due up with the Cubs up 3 to nothing. Vanessis with a base hit to right center his first time up. Struck him out. Big spot and he gets the punch out. Well, Luke Voigt's got to get the ball in play here. Got to come out of this situation with at least a run or two. 2-1 two pitch, low roller to third. Double clutch. And Voigt will beat it out. If McKinstry handles that cleanly, the inning might be over. And the Nats get on the board. So it's first and third, two outs, and a big spot for Yadiel Hernandez, who hammered a single up the middle last time up. And a base hit by Yadiel Hernandez. Vargas scores. Voigt stops at second, and the Nats are back to within a run. Wow, and the Nats. Not Marcus Stroman out, who had a three-run lead. The new pitcher on the mound for the Cubs is the right-hander, Mark Leiter, Jr. And he comes in with a couple of men on base. He faces Nelson Cruz here. Nelson Cruz is one for three career against Mark Leiter, Jr. That's a base hit. Deep into the corner, and the Nationals are going to take the lead. Yadiel following Void home, and it's four to three, Washington. The Nats. Total of quality starts since the 5th of July, both by Josiah Gray. And if he gets one more out without a run scoring, he gets the quality yep. start. But he's not going to go through six, it appears. With two outs here in the sixth. Is this a done deal? Maybe yep. not. No, sir. He's going to stay. Yep. He has struck out wisdom. He has walked wisdom. Now it's up to the starter to let them know that the skipper made the right decision. Swing and a miss for number 10 on the night. And you might say, against the Cubs slugging first baseman, a very wise decision by Davey Martinez. Overall for Hunter Harvey, this will be appearance number 19 at the big league level. No record, 3.24 ERA. Cubs with a chance to get even. An extra base knock could give the Cubs the lead. We'll see uh, Suzuki at the plate. On the ground up the middle, off the glove of Abrams, base hit. Madrigal sprinting around, he's in to score. Suzuki comes through. And we're tied at four. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And the Cubs have a new pitcher. But it'll be left-hander Brandon Hughes on for the Cubs to make his 34th appearance. One down, and here's Nelson Cruz. Nelly Cruz, huge two-run double last time. Put the Nats on top, bottom of the fifth. He got a breaking ball, and he rammed it out to the gap in left center. See you later. Number nine for Nelson Cruz. And the Nats are back on top. Kyle Finnegan will get the ninth inning assignment seeking his fifth save of the year. Nine one and two do up for the Cubs. And now it comes down to Finnegan against Wilson Contreras who is one for one career against Kyle with an RBI single. Up the middle Abrams first night is a net takes care of business and the Nationals take game one from the Cubs. The ball found him on the first batted ball tonight. And the ball found him on the last batted ball tonight. 